April 27, 1822, Point Pleasant, Ohio. Hiram Ulysses Grant, later known as Ulysses S. Grant, is born, thus beginning his lifelong love of horses. It's not exactly what you'd expect with Grant, a man renowned for drinking, smoking, and bludgeoning the Confederacy back into the Union, but Grant had a sensitive side, and it showed in the special relationship he had with horses. This translated into him being a particularly skilled equestrian. At West Point, his classmates and instructors were so wowed by his proficiency in the saddle that future Confederate General James Longstreet compared him to a centaur, the half-man, half-horse mythic beast. Grant also had a need for speed. As his son later recounted, he wasn't daunted by the size or temperament of a horse. The bigger and meaner it was, the more he preferred to ride it, which eventually got him into a little trouble. During his presidency, Grant was driving a one-horse carriage through the streets of D.C. when he was flagged down by a police officer. Mr. President, I want to tell you that you were violating the law by driving at reckless speed. Your fast driving, sir, has set the example... Grant immediately apologized, promising that he would never do it again, at least for 24 hours, when he went back out for another evening tear. As luck would have it, the same officer caught him again, and after letting Grant off the first time, he resolved he couldn't do it for a second. I am very sorry, Mr. President, to have to do it, for you are the nation's chief Grant, executive. knowing he was wrong, kindly obliged, plain, and went down to the station, to where he was booked and fined $20. He paid it immediately. To this day, he remains the only U.S. president ever to receive a speeding ticket. It's hard to imagine this distinction will ever be seen again. What's the weirdest presidential fact you know? Let us know in the comments, and be sure to subscribe to Raider Red's Snapchat Discover channel for more Strange Heartland history. I'm Christopher Pilnick.